What is Default Gateway? A default gateway is used for multiple devices on constant network to communicate with, each alternative and with those in other networks, transferring requests for info. One key method they'll be used is for a browser requesting info from the internet. The request leaves the local network from a browser on a user's computer or device via default gateway, to the internet. What is IsaTap? IsaTap stands for Intracyte Automatic Tunnel Addressing Protocol. It uses virtual links to connect up 6 localities together within a site that is primarily using it for. What is a Frame Relay? Frame Relay is a WAN protocol that provides connection-oriented communication by creating and maintaining virtual circuits. It has a high performance rating and operates at the data link and physical layers. What is HSRP? HSRP stands for Hot Standby Router Protocol. It is a redundancy protocol developed by Cisco to provide gateway redundancy without any additional configuration on the end devices in the subnet. What are segments? Segments are sections of a data stream that comes from the upper S layers and ready for transmission towards the network. Segments are the logic units at the transport layer. What is subnetting? Subnetting is that the strategy used to partition one physical network into more than one smaller logical subnetwork, subnets. What is SNAP? SNAP, Subnetwork Access Protocol, is used within the IEEE 802.2 LLC, Logical Link Control, protocol as a mechanism for multiplexing a lot of protocols than is distinguished by the 8-bit 802.2 SAP, Service Access Point, fields. What is the need for ISC2 code of conduct? This is just to ensure that the candidate is aware of the ISC2 code of conduct as that is a must to pass the CISP. Cramming the questions will not get you through. What is DLCI? DLCI stands for Data Link Connection Identifiers. These are normally assigned by a frame relay service provider to identify each virtual circuit that exists on the network uniquely. Can you explain using switches? When a switch receives a signal, it creates a frame out of the bits that was extracted from that signal. With this process, it gains access and reads the destination address, after which it forwards that frame to the appropriate port. This is a very efficient means of data transmission, instead of broadcasting it on all ports. What is RAID? RAID, Redundant Array of Inexpensive Disks is a technology that is used to increase the performance and or reliability of data storage. RAID is a method by which same data or information is spread across several disks, using techniques such as disk striping, RAID level 0, disk mirroring, RAID level 1, and disk striping with parity, RAID level 5, to achieve redundancy, lower latency, increased band fault width, and maximized ability to recover from hard disk crashes. RAID 0 Block striping, no mirror, no parity. RAID 1, blocks mirroring, no striping, no parity. RAID 5, blocks striping with parity or distributed parity. RAID 6, blocks striping with double parity. RAID 10, combining mirroring and striping. When does network congestion occur? Network congestion occurs when too many users are trying to use the same bandwidth. This is especially true in big networks that do not resort to network segmentation. What is HDLC? HDLC is short for High Level Data Link Control Protocol, and is a propriety protocol of Cisco. It is the default encapsulation operated within Cisco routers. What is bandwidth? Bandwidth refers to the transmission capacity of a medium. It is a measure of how much volume a transmission channel can handle, and is measured in kbps. What are the two protocols used in Ether channel? Ether channels can be negotiated between two switches to provide some dynamic link configuration. Two protocols are available to negotiate bundled links in Catalyst switches PAGP, Port Aggregation Protocol, LACP, Link Aggregation Control Protocol. PAGP can be used only in Cisco devices but LACP can be used in other vendors also. What is a phishing attack? A phishing attack is a social engineering attack in which the users are tricked to reveal sensitive information by clicking on malicious email links or attachments.
This attack is used to spread malwares and compromise the networks as well. Can explain valid hosts in a subnet? The best way to go about this is to use the equation 256 minus the subnet mask. The hosts that are considered valid are those that can be found between the subnets. Can you explain different IPX access lists? There are two access lists, standard and extended. Standard access list can only filter the source or destination IP address. An extended access list uses the source and destination IP addresses, port, socket and protocol when filtering a network. What is RIP? RIP, Routing Information Protocol, is one in every of a family of IP routing protocols and is an interior gateway protocol, IGP, designed to distribute routing info among an autonomous system, at what is a window in networking terms? A window refers to the number of segments that is allowed to be sent from source to destination before an acknowledgement is sent back. Explain, which LAN switching method is used in Cisco Catalyst 5000? This model uses the store and forward switching method. It stores the entire frame to its buffers and performs a CRC check before deciding whether or not to forward that data frame. What are the different memories used in a Cisco router? NVRM stores the startup configuration file. DRAM stores the configuration file that is being executed. Flash memory, stores the Cisco IOS. What are the pros of VLANs? VLANs allow the creation of collision domains by groups other than just physical location. Using VLANs, it is possible to establish networks by different means, such as by function type of hardware, protocol, among others. This is a big advantage when compared to conventional lands wherein collision domains are always tied to the physical location. Can you explain LLC sublayer? The LLC sublayer, short for logical link control, can provide optional services to an application developer. One option is to provide flow control to the network layer by using stop, start codes. The LLC can also provide error correction. What is the use of application layer in networking? The application layer supports the communication components of an application and provides network services to application processes that span beyond the ISA reference model specifications. It also synchronizes applications on the server and client. Can you explain how a warm site is different from a hot site? A hot site is up and running at all times just like the primary site. A hot site can even serve as a load balancer. A warm site not up and running but is configured in a way that it can be started in little time. The services need to be started, and it is then good to go. What is difference between full duplex from half duplex? In full duplex, both the transmitting device and the receiving device can communicate simultaneously, that is, both can be transmitting and receiving at the same time. In the case of half duplex, a device cannot receive while it is transmitting, and vice versa. What are the pros of LAN switching? Allows full duplex data transmission and reception. Media rate adaption. Easy and efficient migration. What are the differences user mode from privileged mode? User mode is used for regular task when using a Cisco router such as to view system information, connecting to remote devices, and checking the status of the router. On the other hand, privileged mode includes all options that are available for user mode, plus more. You can use this mode in order to make configurations on the router, including making tests and debugging. What is a PIPA? A PIPA stands for Automatic Private IP Addressing. Ranges equals 169.254.0.1 to 169.255.255.254, Class B. Auto configuration enabled, this means a PIPA is set in the system. It is used to automatically assign private IP addresses for home, small business and WS that contains a single subnet, has no DHCP server and is not using static IP address. How does RIP differ from IGRP? RIP relies on the number of hops in order to determine the best route to a network. On the other hand, IGRP takes consideration many factors before it decides the best route to take, such as band fault width, reliability, MTU and hop count. 
Explain SHA protocol display. Routed protocols that is configured on the router. The address assigned on each interface. The encapsulation method that was configured on each interface. How does cut through LAN switching work? In cut through LAN switching, as soon as the router receives the data frame, it will immediately send it out again and forward it to the next network segment after reading the destination address. How do you configure a Cisco router to route IPX? The initial thing to do is to enable IPX routing by using the IPX routing command. Each interface that is used in the IPX network is then configured with a network number and encapsulation method. Why is UDP least favored when compared to TCP? It's because UDP is unreliable and unsequenced. It is not capable of establishing virtual circuits and acknowledgements. Can you explain some standards supported by the presentation layer? Presentation layer supports many standards, which ensures that data is presented correctly. These include PICT, TIFF and JPEG for graphics, MIDI, MPEG and QuickTime for video, audio. What is UA in IPv6? UA is Extended Unique Identifier 64. It is an interface ID, which is typically composed of MAC addresses. We can create a 64 interface in a 48-bit MAC address by inserting the zeros between the upper 3 bytes and lower 3 bytes of the MAC address. Can you explain simple way to remotely configure a router? In cases when you need to configure a router remotely, the most convenient is to use the Cisco Auto Install procedure. However, the router must be connected to the WAN or LAN through one of the interfaces. What are administrative distances of DC, SR? Internal IGRP, OSPF, RIP, external IGRP, and unknown. Directly connected minus zero. Static root one. Internal IGRP 90. OSPF 110. RIP 120. External IGRP 170. Unknown 255. Which port does RIP use of TCP? RIP use port of UDP not TCP, 520. What is Global Unicast Address in IPv6? Global Unicast Addresses are IPv6 public addresses, which can be used globally as public addresses and are unique in nature, for example 2000-1, any address which begins with hex 2 or 3. Could you explain how do you depict an IP address? It can be done in three possible ways. Using dotted decimal. For example, 192.168.0.1. Using binary. For example, 100000100.0011101.0111100.0111100.0111100.0111100.0111100.0111100.0111100.0111100.0111100.0111100.0111100.0111100.0111100.0111100.0111100.0111100.0111100.0111100.0111100.0111100.0111100.0111100.0111100.
Class E range is 240-254 and default subnet mask is experimental, used for research. Could you explain how do you go to privileged mode? How do you switch back to user mode? To access privileged mode, you enter the command enable on the prompt. In order to get back to user mode, enter the command disable. Could you explain how internetworks created? Internetworks are created when networks are connected using routers. Specifically, the network administrator assigns a logical address to every network that connects to the router. Can you explain hold downs work? Hold downs prevent regular update messages from reinstating a downed link by removing that link from update messages. It uses triggered updates to reset the hold down timer. Can you explain syslog? Syslog server is a popular server. It is used to store log information. Port 514. It can be configured easily. It can store a large volume of data. By default logging, messages are sent to the router's console port. It can also be sent to syslog. What are the pros of a layered model in the networking industry? A layered network offers many advantages. It allows administrators to make changes in one layer without the need to make changes in the other layers. Specialization is encouraged, allowing the network industry to make progress faster. A layered model also lets administrators troubleshoot problems more efficiently. Can you explain OSPF? OSPF stands for Open Shortest Path First. It is a link state routing protocol. It uses shortened path first algorithm in order to build and calculate the shortest path to all known destinations. It is an interior gateway protocol, IGP, that is used mainly in larger TCP IP internetworks and within autonomous systems of the internet, network, source to destination using its own shortest path. Explain the multicast addresses used in IPv4 and IPv6 by different protocols. OSPF IP4 equals 224.0.0.5,224.0.0.6. OSPF, IP6 equals FF02 colon 5 slash FF02 colon 6. RIP, IP4 equals 224.0.0.9. RIP NG IP6 equals FF02 colon 9. IGRIP4 equals 224.0.0.10. IGRIP6 equals FF02 colon 10. How many hosts are in class A? There are total 127 million hosts are in class A and 127 networks. What is the difference between public IP and private IP? Public IP is used across the internet, while private IP is used within the local LAN. What does AAA stands for? Authentication, Authorization and Accounting. Which IP addresses can be given as private addresses? Class A, 10.0.0.0 to 10.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.